Welcome back everybody to this new video of to Express. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do something like this, or let's say how to customize your theme into Shopify. So uh, for today's tutorial, we're going to be using this theme on um, Shopify as a reference, but not likely we are not going to be customizing this theme per se. We're going to be taking care of the design so we can try to do something like that into something, into a new design, but with a theme that is totally for free, so you don't have to pay like like a lot for this so check it out here we have this banner that says flash sale hurry or offer and ends soon shop flash sales i'm going to close this check it out here we have this banner uh free shipping over 100 free help and advice flash sale now on scrolling a little bit down these elements actually move uh automatically and i scroll a little bit down we have shop deals you can see that we have icons here we can see that we have the new in uh set it up to flash offers so uh, what is actually great to use into this theme is that maybe uh, we can just um, evolve or skip elements that we don't want to add into our store or maybe we needed something else to add into our store for example that would be applications if I go into this website check it out that we have something a little bit not that far from what we actually wanted to but we didn't use the actual theme of the enterprise what we actually did in order to add this is to I'm gonna go back is to use the actual current thing which in my case is a done now the done one is something that is totally for free you don't need to pay absolutely for anything so usually what I do here into the Shopify is to try to look for elements that I can uh, let's say for example add and then later on I can customize this so let's go into the theme store for instance of course if you have the money if you're willing to pay for that if you don't want to spend like a lot of time maybe it's a great idea to use to stick around with the theme that you're currently uh, wanted to in this case the enterprise but if you have time if you have a little bit of time and you wanted to save a little bit of money maybe you can choose something Thing that is not that expensive maybe you can try with a theme that is actually for free so um, we do have the Don version check it out the Taylor versus the Don can you see the actual difference here maybe there's not so much difference since there are a lot of blocks and elements that they're both actually using so that's the reason why we actually use done that's the reason why shopify give you done as a default when you start creating your shopify store because this one is totally customizable and you can add a lot of steps and make this look like if you have like a premium and professional store so this is the reason why i use it done and the free boson and i keep just into try my theme once you downloaded your theme it's going to be appearing here into the theme library and here into the upper side where it says current theme this is the one that is actually active so far if i hit into customize this one will bring me directly into my editor of shopify uh, website builder and it's going to be showing me how it's going to be looking my actual store so far what i do have available here my elements and all of that so it's actually really, really simple to customize your actual store. Whether you wanted to just click into the element that you wanted to edit, for example, let's say that maybe you wanted just to add like an image here. So I click here into the left part, let's say explore free themes. And let's say that here I wanted to add some women's fashion. I wanted to add an element, a product that I can add into my store totally for free. So I kind of like this element. I kind of like this lady, but I think that maybe I can just delete this banner. So you can just unscroll, you scroll a bit down. Welcome to our store. What I can totally suggest to you once you are or when you're actually customizing your website is to try to look for another website uh, so you can not maybe copy and paste but to use the elements that you can see into a website that you actually like and you can implement those directly into your store but check this out we do have like a few elements that has been already added into my store um, and what I just needed to do is to add a few elements a few more elements into this enterprise theme for example the subheading slide show just click in here select your images or explore free images so you can get started with the same images but 
it's going to be showing me, let's say, for example, more slideshow. So I can choose explore free themes. And instead for, let's say, for example, this one, I can choose this one as well. Okay, hit into select. And you have like a preview of how it's going to be looking your store. So basically all your branding stuff all your elements all your images even your own catalog is going to be added directly into your store it doesn't matter which it is the themes that you actually chose so if i go into my three dots i'm going to hit into preview and it's going to be showing me how it's going to be looking my store now with the new theme that i have just added if I go into my catalog, I wanted to make sure that I have the catalog that I had back then when I had the Dawn theme. So I scroll a little bit down and here you can see I have the catalog, I have the snowbots. And if you don't have anything in here, you just needed to go back into your customizable section, choose the website you wanted to change and add your template as you're just getting started. So you can see I have my first collection here. So into my second collection, I hit into select collection and all of that so basically everything that needs to be done before you are into the administrator or to the editor theme should be back into settings and directly into brand into brand you have to add your logos your square your colors everything so when you get started with a new theme everything should be imported directly into your store as well as going directly into your products have all your products already been imported creating your own collections creating your own gift cards so all of these elements should be added directly into the new theme that you're currently using so hopefully guys this was a very useful information for you now, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools how you can get started and customize more stuff into your Shopify store. Thank you once again for watching the video. Hopefully, guys, I can see you all next time.